So when it comes to self-control, we're essentially saying you need to check yourself before you wreck yourself. You need to develop for yourself a record of your being, which you can check your current behavior against. Let me give you another example. For myself, over the last year or so, I've managed to lose about 40 pounds almost and keep most of that weight off. Now, so much of that I was able to accomplish was because of my meal plan, which took the form of many, many spreadsheets in Excel where I could track when I was eating, what I was eating, calories, nutrients, all those sorts of things. So, okay, that diet spreadsheet for me could be considered the wheel, the record, the rota, the rotulus, the thing that I contra. Remember, contra rotulus, check against the wheel. I have this text, this document, this recording <laughs> that I can now say, okay, well, today I feel like eating three pounds of spaghetti and 14 sausages. How's that going to shake out? Well, that's like 12,000 calories. That's when we check that against the plan, doesn't look so good. So let me ask you now, can you think about the places or the actions, the behaviors in your life where you seem to use that negative language, that self-abusive language? I don't want to eat this because then I won't look this way. I shouldn't call that person up because they don't respect me. We're not having a productive relationship. I don't want to go out for beers after work because I can't stop at one beer. I'm going to have four beers, start flirting with the waitress, order whiskey shots, have to take a cab home, maybe not even make it to work in the morning. I don't know. I'm just making things up. Where in your life do you speak to yourself negatively and abusively about your behavior? Is it alcohol, food, procrastination, not looking for a new job, staying in a job that's just beating you down? That's how we're thinking of self-control in the old, small way. But that is going to be your guide into this new way of self-control. Find that place in your life. For me, it's food. That negativity, that sort of forcing myself to do or think a certain way, that becomes the place that you need to begin to create your record. And I'll tell you, nothing changed for me. A 15-year marijuana habit, a 15-year pornography habit, a whole lifetime of eating excessively, of using food like a drug, you know, being a, a, a very introverted, shy, unself-confident person, None of that ever improved for me. None of that changed for me until I started keeping a record of my behavior. So I'm encouraging you to start writing in a journal or start speaking voice memos on your phone. Start making videos like this. It can be a couple of words a night just to get started. A few lines on a page. A few minutes talking into your phone. How did your day go? And more importantly, start keeping a record of your behavior. Right? How are you eating and how is that playing out in your life? How, how much are you drinking and how is that playing out in your life? How many times are you speaking to yourself, cursing yourself, negatively abusing yourself and heaping scorn on yourself around a certain behavior that you think you need to change? 